Welcome! We will show you what Special Olympics Unified Sports is. It means that people with and without intellectual disabilities do sports together on the same team. Unified sports players with intellectual disabilities are called athletes and players without intellectual disabilities are called partners. They do this regularly at least once per week during the entire year. A unified team trains and goes to competitions like any other sports team. Team members learn a lot from each other and make new friends. Having fun is also a very important thing in unified sports. Unified sports can be done in many team and individual sports. There are six key points everyone on a unified team needs to know and agree on. These points are important to make sure everyone on the unified team is happy. Point 1. Every player gets to play. Point 2. Every player has an important role during a game. Point 3. Every player can show their skills. Point 4. The game is safe and people are careful that no one gets injured. Point 5. And players and their coaches are nice to each other. Point 6. And finally, all players train together as one team. No separate training sessions. All of these six points just mentioned describe what Special Olympics calls the principle of meaningful involvement. There are three ways to do unified sports. We call them unified sports models. They give people the opportunity to choose how they want to play. The first model is the recreation model. In the recreation model, Athletes with intellectual disabilities and partners without intellectual disabilities come together for casual sport. For example, teams try a new sport. It doesn't matter how sporty or how old a person is. The second model is the Unified Sports Player Development Model. In this model, it's important that the same or almost the same number of athletes and partners form one team. It is important to know that players must be the same or almost the same age. Players who are better in the sport than others support those who are not as good. In this way, the whole team gets stronger and can compete against other player development teams in smaller competitions. The third model is the competitive model. In this model, athletes and partners train together for larger sports competitions. As in the player development model, there are the same or almost the same number of athletes and partners on the team. Team members must be of same or similar age. In the competitive model, all players must have the same or similar skills and every player must know the sport and the rules very well. Where can unified sports happen? You can have a unified sports team in your school or your sport club in your village or city. You can compete in smaller competitions in your village or city. This is what we call local level. You can compete in different cities in your country. This is what we call national level. You can compete in competitions in other countries. This is what we call international level. Now you have learned how unified sports works and you are ready to go and play unified.